a one month old boy presents to your pediatric clinic for a routine checkup the child's mother notes that the child has been relatively well although she has not been feeding as well as expected and often appears listless this is very very important appears listless age is a one month old boy on physical examination you note that the child has a round face with a microcephaly and low set ears while you are examining the child she lets out a high pitched distinctive cry so now i think you know what exactly we are talking about she lets out a high pitched distinctive cry so what's the case while you examining the child she lets out a high pitched distinctive cry you begin to fear that the child may have a chromosomal abnormality that leads to significant cognitive deficits and you refer patient to a geneticist high pitched distinctive cry is a very important uh, buzzword for our case it is the cry due chat syndrome this is very very important case for your emily cry due chat syndrome so the genetic defect in this is mainly caused by the partial deletion of the chromosome 5 cry due chat that's the reason you are like uh, talking about a high pitched distinctive cry one month old boy right whenever you see this you have to say that yes it is a cry due chat syndrome and it is caused by the partial deletion remember partial deletion not complete deletion partial deletion of chromosome 5 so here sometimes in the case they'll also give you cat like cry not only a high pitched cry cat like cry also they'll give so the patient exhibit a very high pitched cry we can say that cat like cry like you know high pitched cry this is a very important hallmark of the cry due chat syndrome so cat like cry at birth which is usually due to the structural abnormalities in the larynx that's the reason the high pitched distinctive cry is mainly because of the structural abnormalities in the larynx not only that the patients also have severe developmental delay and cognitive deficits and distinctive facial abnormalities severe developmental delay cognitive deficits and distinctive facial abnormalities all these are very important uh, clinical manifestations what we can see in the cry due chat syndrome so what are the distinctive facial abnormalities in this the distinctive facial abnormalities for the cry due chat are round face low set ears microcephaly and a hypoplastic nasal bridge all these four are a very important distinctive facial abnormalities what we can see in the cry due chat i'll repeat once again round face low set ears microcephaly and a hypoplastic nasal bridge so other than the severe developmental delay cognitive deficits and the distinctive facial abnormalities cat like cry all these are very very important uh, clinical manifestations but other than less important manifestations are structural cardiac defects difficulty swallowing and these are considered to be like uh, complications we can say results in the failure to thrive so what is the treatment in the cry due chat syndrome there should be a support you care with special attention mainly to the developmental needs of the patient and the genetic testing for any patient of the child bearing age is indicated and uh, when we talk about uh, the epidemiology of the united states particularly the patients have up to 10% annual morbidity and mortality rate although most of these deaths occur within the first year of life underline this point 
most of these deaths occur within first year of life. So this is a cry due chat syndrome. 